Welcome Taurus, we are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Dragon Oracle Cards, Nature's Whispers and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, well, let's have a little look-see here, shall we? One card for Taurus, please. One card for Taurus. And we'll have a read of this at the end, out of the book. We have Black Dragon cocoons you so that you your divine potential grows that's what the black dragon does for you okay the advice is to meditate reflect undergo a metamorphosis so this is this transformation in your life right and the black dragon is protecting you as you do that wow taurus that's cool that's very cool <clears throat> I love that. Okay, so let's have a look. I'll put this book here so I remind myself. Actually, let me get it ready because it can be a little bit black dragon. Here we go. 52, one of my favorite numbers because it's got a two in it. Okay, I'll just put that there so that it's ready to go. I'll put it there. No, I'll put it here. Alrighty. Okay, three cards, two cards for, one card for Black Dragon for Taurus, please. One card. <laughs> I thought it was going to flip out then, but I didn't. Thanks. Wow, Taurus. It's all happening, all happening for you. Okay, let's have a look here. Assurance, Taurus. Look at this assurance. <clears throat> Interesting. I, I wonder if this is not, it's not reassurance. It's kind of like this feeling of because, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me just, I've got so much going on here right now. Not even here because it's actually like I'm getting... Hang on, can we just slow this down for a minute? Okay, so I'm seeing here this plant that has been planted, right? It's in this bubble, which is protected by the black dragon. And it's kind of like there's this um, need for this assurance that when it grows into this tree, what will it grow into? And I feel like here, Taurus, that the assurance is something that you need to yourself meditate reflect on okay so that you can undergo this metamorphosis because it is up to you to create that okay so the assurance lies within you not on the external okay so um yeah that's pretty cool it, okay we've got all the cards we need there far out this is all happening i tell you wow i'm um, yeah Loving this. Okay. Yep. So playfulness. We've got playfulness and we've got trust. Trust in yourself. But first of all, playfulness. Here, this card tells me about um, transparency. Okay. Um, Lightheartedness. Right. Having fun with things. Believing in the magic. Right. Believing that you can create whatever it is you want to create. Not to be so realistic about things. Um to actually dream, childlike kind of dreams, right? And trust, trust that you have got the support from spirit, that you have the you have the ability within yourself to create whatever it is that you can create, okay? Um, because when you do that, and when you do that lightheartedly, when you let go and surrender and just let it all happen and trust that it's going to transpire as you want it to, then it will happen like that, okay? And then we have receptivity here. So this is about you being receptive to the growth that can be made, you know, because this, um, I feel like, is is the biggest scheme of things. It's not something little here. This, what it is that you're, you're um, transforming into or whatever you're transforming in your life is is pretty big it's quite a quite a major um transformation occurring 
and um, which is why there's this feeling of needing the assurance. Um, but it's it's up to you how you create that, right? <laughs> Look at this beautiful, this passionate new beginning here, Taurus. Um, being receptive to it coming in, yeah, knowing that you deserve this, that um, that it is of the highest light, right? The highest source of light. This is um, something that you can create um, from within when you connect into the source of who you truly are here, Taurus. You can make magic happen. Boy, oh boy, can you ever the existence, wow, this is a pretty powerful reading, yet yeah, the existence of who you are, this is the source of who you are, understanding that there is no separation here, everything you do influences everything around you, everything around you influences you, you are one and the same, there is no separation, everything is one, <clears throat> understanding that that is part of your existence will help you to understand what it is that you can grow that will give you the power to trust okay to trust in the source trust in the existence of who you truly are here Taurus right who you truly are projections okay these these are what this is the, the, very interesting that this has come up here and I feel like this is kind of saying be aware of your projections, be aware of what it is that you're projecting out there, knowing that, that this can create what it is that you're growing, knowing that this is the beginning of something huge for you, watch out for your projections even on an energetic level, make sure things are loving. Okay, yes you need to release um any um, negative emotions that you are storing within, just be aware of not projecting them onto another person. Keep that energy within your own field. Send it to source for the highest, um, to, send it to the source of light for transmutation. Okay, so that it um, gets taken up and away um, for good. Don't use it for bad is what I want to say here, okay, um, so yeah, maintain your childlike spirit, yeah, have fun, see, this is this joy, keeping the joy, especially when things are hard and heavy, especially when this is coming up, because it is rising up, it is rising up, and um, this is something that is important for you to be able to make this transformation in your life, maintain your childlike spirit, the things that you enjoy doing. I feel like art for some of you is quite important here. Um, and yeah, I also feel as though this is letting your inner child out to play because while I always talk about healing the inner child, which should be a daily thing, taking care of your inner child, it's not necessarily always looking at all the bad things, but it's just acknowledging, it's simply acknowledging the inner child to be in existence in your being because it actually is and um, it's like having your own children you're not going to ignore them on a daily basis hopefully not you're going to actually pay attention to them and love them and nurture them it's the same that we need to do for ourselves right and so this part of this Taurus is letting your inner child out to play letting them out to play okay One there, no, just kind of flipped out. It was celebration, it might come out later, but yeah, it kind of flipped out. Anyway, um, we have here this experiencing here. Okay, this is this is about you celebrating the little successes that you've had, experiencing the world around you, becoming becoming more present, I feel actually, becoming more present with the world around you, getting out in nature going in to the playground and swinging on swings like you used to do when you were a kid. You're never too old to be childlike. You know, okay, look, you know, I mean, I know for me, I probably can't do cartwheels anymore or anything like that. But, um, you know, I can go and sit on a swing and swing on it. 
I know when I go for a walk along the beach, I feel like a little kid, like skipping along, going, yeah, this is so cool, you know, paddling in the water, having a bit of a splash around. You know, um, those sorts of things are going to help raise your vibration to bring in the success that you are actually working towards. Okay, it's going to help lift you up. All right. Um, important to remember not to remain, uh, sorry, important to remember to remain humble though. Um, do not become too cocky. Um, yeah, because this card here is not the 10. It's not qu quite getting there, but it's still... Still, there's still things to be celebrated here, Taurus, okay? Um, yeah, we have slow down, slow down here. Yeah, I love this. We have slow down and inner voice. And I feel like the turtle really been um, quite a significant animal coming in here. This is about you going within. The turtle here... When, um, whenever there is any threat or any fear, the turtle goes within. He doesn't, I mean, I don't really know what they do. I'm assuming this is what they do, but this is what I'm being shown. Okay, so let's just go with it, okay. <clears throat> the turtle, in the, in the face of fear, will retreat into the shell. And... In some circumstances, I would say, don't hide away. Face your fears and do it anyway. What I want to say with this is, go within and allow your inner voice to speak. Allow your inner voice to lead the way. Tap into that. Tap into that in order to, uh, to have the assurance of this transformation in your life. Because you have the answers within you here, Taurus. And um, this is something that you are definitely needing to tap into in your life. All right. We've got Thunderbolt and clinging to the past. So something sudden has happened. And... There's a sense of things are crumbled and it might be like, oh, it's okay. It's all right. Like, you know, I get why that happened. That's okay. I mean, you know, it's not that bad. And, and kind of blinging it up, making it look pretty or being in denial about just how bad it was. You know, maybe some of you need to see the reality of how bad something actually has been for you. Um, there could be some work that needs to be done there. Um, but I do want to say with clinging to the past too, clinging to the past sometimes can bring in a thunderbolt moment because it hasn't been let go of. And that may have happened for you. Yeah. So it's time, it's time to go within and have this renewal of peace. Go within and nurture the inner child that feels like it needs protecting, that it needs loving, that it needs caring for. And this is something you can do. Okay. Renewal of peace. Tell me more about renewal of peace for Taurus, please. Okay, what have we got here? This is you holding back. This is you building these walls. This is you trying to protect yourself, trying to protect your heart, trying to protect the gem that you hold within because that's who you are. You're the shining treasure. And this is you trying to hide that so that you don't get hurt anymore. But what in turn you're doing is actually stopping the master from coming through, from shining. All right, because that's who you truly are as the master. And um, and it's kind of like what, it's, it's sort of like putting this face on to not show people who you truly are because there's this fear that you'll 
be either ridiculed or taken advantage of or people will put you down. <clears throat> There's a master within you. There is a master within you. And I just wonder for some of you if you fear that master or you don't believe in it. There's a battle going on for you. There's a battle about a connection. It's like the connection was almost made and it didn't quite make it. Was this this thunderbolt moment? Or was this within you? But there's going to be a breakthrough. There's going to be a breakthrough. This is about you breaking through, allowing the master to come out and allowing this breakthrough to happen. Okay, we've got awareness and patience here. This is you being aware of your inner being, being aware of the inner knowing, being aware of your master. Okay, having the patience to allow something to grow, to nurture it, to love it. And this is you. You know, whatever is going on around you, whatever this thunderbolt moment was, the focus right now needs to be on you. Because you are the most important person in your life. Forever and always. I know we believe our family is or our children are. But who are we for them if we're not taking care of us? You know, this is super important here, Taurus. So it's time for you to start putting yourself um, forward and putting yourself first. Okay. Yeah, okay, so let's have a look at Black Dragon here. Alrighty, so cocoons you so that your divine potential grows, which is the master, right? That's your divine potential is the master, yeah. Okay, meditate, reflect, undergo a metamorphosis. Okay, so about this card. Fifth dimensional Black Dragons are powerful. They only come out come to us when we are ready to nurture a new idea or concept that will enable our divine potential to grow. Black is the ultimate divine feminine colour, the shade of mystery and magic of secrets and hidden hopes. When we are prepared to surrender to the black dragons, they will cocoon us in silky black energy as we rest within the safe dark place. They will enable the new to develop within us. Eventually, we will emerge like a butterfly, having undergone a profound metamorphosis. Guidance. Choosing this card suggests it is time to rest, for it is during such moments of relaxation that divine projects, creative ideas, or new or a new way of thinking are conceived in times of peace and stillness fresh seeds and ideas can grow the mighty black dragons wish to create a dark cocoon for you now so that the new can germinate and sprout you are asked to accept their assistance for it will serve your spiritual growth take time to meditate or reflect and the dragons will surround you with their breath this will allow the opportunity that is being presented to you to take root. When you are ready, the Black Dragons will help you to nurture the new growth. Ask them to hold your vision until it comes to glorious fruition. They will also be working with you in your sleep state and you may be aware of their presence, so acknowledge their help. Expect to be different. And be ready to spread your wings. Wow, that's cool. That is really cool. And, you know, acknowledging their presence is simply just saying thank you. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to leave that with you, Taurus. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.